At MSP Inspa, we know it's pretty easy to you know set up an event in Microsoft Teams, yes. But some people have never created it before, so we thought of just doing something to just show you that hmm, this is how it works, right? So let's just you know log into Teams like I've done here, and I'll click on you know calendar. And once you click on calendar, you should be able to get a new meeting. Click on new meeting. Hmm, there are a few things I learned whilst I was actually setting this up. So I'm sure if this is going to be your first time, you're going to learn something new too, right? So give your, you know, um, meeting a title. So MSP Inspa Sessions. That's what we host, right? Um, sure, summer. <laughs> okay, MSP Inspa Session. Yeah, and maybe this time around it's with Apita and Kushbu. It could be anyone right right so myself salman sabia we always host this stuff so um yeah so we just add an attendee right we can just paste an attendee whom we want to invite the person might not necessarily be a student partner you can just invite a person so just click on it okay so in some few minutes just comes up then you click that yes i want to add this person right yeah so invite to be sent to dawoodidris at gmail.com and at the same time we will just send an invite to salman mkc right uh, okay and then maybe the last time we we'll just send one to sabiha shake okay awesome so we have our attendees yep we can you know add optional attendees so I, I will not go there for now just keep it simple all right so we have our attendees but we also know that our event might be attended by people whom we don't have their email so we will handle that later right let's just come down here so you select a date for your event let's say uh the date for our event is actually going to be on saturday right okay hmm, maybe this is going to be on friday rather okay so and then uh time would be somewhere around 5 30 p.m mm, or, mm, okay this time around is going to be 2 p.m okay on friday and it will just end on the same friday and um is it going to be 30 minutes or one hour meeting you need to specify that remember always to do that okay and yeah so basically as of now you have you know almost everything you need set up but the truth is that you need to be very very careful right make sure you select your time zone i left it out here so just click there and select the time zone which you belong to so that you know you you actually specifying that okay this is the time that i would be you know uh, we will be hosting the event in gmt right in my case utc 0000 is perfect so i'll just select that this means that if someone in UK actually get this invite and then um, if it happens that their time zone have changed and they are ahead of you know uh, us one hour it will just you know update and Saobiha is also going to receive an invite which will just convert it to her time zone so we don't have to even think about you know converting the time zones to make sure everyone gets it as long as they get an invite it works cool okay then we can select if it is an msp event usually you know we host msp events and all those stuff so we basically point it to uh you know maybe one of the channel not general often supposed to be in the middle east africa right so i'll basically just select that okay but i don't want to do this and everyone is going to notice it right so this is just a tutorial or not want to disturb people then we add a location because once we have the channel we can you know the location will basically be the same place as um you know yeah as the channel so um here i can paste in the meeting invite i'll just say that hey guys uh hey msp inspire this is to guide others okay then yeah i've ended it then i'll say that maybe on um yeah just sign msp is party okay then yeah hey guys i think i should put it this way hey msp is party this this is a guide this is to guide others right this is a tutorial let me just say i'm just playing around with you but it's okay I'm trying to make it fun tutorial 
to guide others okay so basically we are done setting up our you know meeting i can just click on okay and that's all i'll just click on send and boom salman is going to get this sabia is going to get this but they are going to forgive me i know right because he wasn't intended to send to them so i know um, but i'm just going to move to friday okay and you can see that on friday i should have a meeting invite being sent to me right here okay so that's a step scheduled so just come here maybe someone is going to message me soon and ask me that would did you send an invite to me uh, let's see if it does that to just pop up okay so at this point in time i'll just refresh here okay i received you know the invite even though i'm not an msp so i can just you know um click to say that yes i accept okay so that one is going to get the update right every team member is going to get the update that okay that would has actually accepted to uh, you know accepted the invite okay or i can also say no hmm it depends so it's basically just going to update right but it usually takes time sometimes to update but when i check in my email because i set it up from my yeah but then okay that would be accepted so that's cool right okay so what about if someone is not actually um, an msp how do we send an invite to this person or how does the person still find our meeting okay just come here you see this link this thing this thing just copy this link and then send it to the person that's all yeah just send it to the person and the person should be able to find our meeting you see here it's us actually sends me an email that you know um, that would have accepted the invite right so that's cool right and it copies everyone within the meeting um to know that okay that would have actually accepted the invite so that's so cool all right so um once you copy the link you can actually go to your bitly that's actually useful let me mention it to you and then you know um yeah set that up sorry maybe i'm keeping this lengthy but i think they are worth mentioning to you so i just need to mention it all right just doing this for the msp inspire team so let's just create this all right so i just click and then i'll paste in the link this is actually very lengthy link right it will scare someone from even clicking on it so i'll just say msp inspire creates teams or oh, let me just msp inspire teams shoots okay then i'll add how to set up an event okay then basically i'm done i can add, attach tag right i think this is msp so i usually have a tag for all msp related stuff then i'll just click on safe okay so this helped me to monitor who has clicked my how many times people have actually clicked my link right so immediately i send this link to someone else uh, the person just visited in the browser mm, boom then direct the person to you know our meeting mm -hmm. so the person begins to join our meeting useful that's actually something that you mostly wouldn't see right this side is trying to open microsoft teams so i think i need to either say yes it should open or no it shouldn't open hmm and now i'm scared but i have to open okay let's see what happens so it tries to you know just open microsoft teams and ask the person to join so the person can join the call brightly right the person is not accepting an invite is just joining the call so that is it so i just close this okay yeah uh, come back again and basically you see how you can you know, set up you know um, an event in microsoft teams let me know if you have any question ask me salman sabiha we are ready to give you an answer thank you hope this was useful i know one thing more people want to know how you post in Microsoft Teams, just leave us comments. We will get back to you. Thanks so much. Bye.